All right, you got the single season rushing leader behind us trying to make some inroads today. What does Tyler need to do in front of these scouts? Solidify what he did at the combine. I mean, the guy had a great workout. Um, he did great on his bench here. He, he didn't do the bench at the combine, and he put up some great numbers. Um, I talked to him yesterday about it, and uh, he, he had asked me, you know, how much did I do, and I, I gave him the number. He's like, so as long as I get more than you, I'm good, right? I'm like, hey, you'll be fine. And, and he did. He got more than me on the, on the bench, so proud of him for that. You know, it's, it's there's a lot of uh, nerves and stuff that go into this, but you know, for him for him to do what he's doing and come out here, I think if he if he does what he did at the combine, you know, does all the field work and, and comes out here and um, you know showcases his, his ability to catch and run routes and stuff, I think. He'll be just fine. Are you worried about his speed and the 44.6 of the combine? Does that trump, say, two years of highlights of him running downfield? No, not at all. Not at all. Um, if if the game was that important, you know, based off of a 40, every track person would be playing football. Um, but I, I don't see that. And, and like you said, the game film speaks for itself, and I think there, there's a difference between track speed and football speed and game speed, and, and Tyler shows it, and, and I, don't, I don't think it's, it's going to hurt him at all. I think, if anything, when, when you pull up the tape, it's, it's enough, in my Still opinion. Still looking third, fourth round, do you think, for him? Um, yeah, I mean, th there's a lot of speculation, talking to different GMs and, and scouts and stuff. Um, I've, I've heard majority of them are, are talking third fourth round um, I mean hopefully he shows out today and, and you know a, a coach or a GM or a scout or somebody sees something that could bump him up earlier but um, I'm, I'm always hoping for the best and, and wishing for the best and we'll see where it goes what is this day like you've had your day uh, okay. what is this day like for these five Cougars there's a lot of emotions, a lot of a lot of emotions, um, good ones, and and um, it, it's nerve wracking as well. Like I said, there's there's a, a bunch of scouts out here today, and um, you know this is their pretty much their job interview. So for for anyone out there that's doing a, a normal job interview, you can imagine like it's I feel like it's that, but times ten, because um, now you have everybody watching and not just you know some person that's one on one interviewing you. You got about 20 guys interviewing you and then um, your family and friends are around so you're wanting to do your best and, and show out and so it's it's nerve-wracking but at the same time like I was telling Ty just enjoy it enjoy it because you, you don't get this time back you don't get this day back um, and you've done this your whole life you've you've trained you've practiced the drills that you're doing it's, it's nothing different than you know you haven't already done so enjoy it and have fun and I think he's He'll do that. A job interview times 10. Harvey, thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks.